beautiful morning. Creep. Boos. How the heck are you crazy creeps? We are back creeping. It is a absolutely beautiful afternoon. A little later in the day than normal. And we are going to do some creeping. We have an entire playlist of old you know portland and pacific northwest companies that have folded or kind of just changed names or really just bankrupt whatever the case may be in the playlist and i thought today we should get another one in of one of my really one of my favorite places to kind of go to <laughs> didn't really buy much when it was there but i i really do miss them especially around the holidays around halloween time was Payless Drugs, not to be confused with Payless Shoes, which is another company I think is still, you know, around. I digress. Stay tuned. We're doing some more old Pacific Northwest companies. It's going to be a good one. Not, not so much the history other than me reminiscing about some of the good old days. So stay tuned. Yeah, just a beautiful day. It was a little, a little cold and crummy this morning. But as you can see now, got a little bit of blue sky action. So we're gonna take advantage. Yeah, pay less. Definitely some good times. Like I said, a lot of people from the Pacific Northwest probably will remember the classic commercial around the holidays. I'll insert that now. catchy jingle and I myself would go to pay less during Halloween and they were pretty good about having all the latest little tiny animatronics and whatnot so we are here at the main city park now and we're just gonna kind of make our way through here over to which is now the Rite Aid which one sat pay less but I also wanted to show you where the very first Payless drugstore sat. Right here in downtown Gresham. Well, at least for this area. And uh, I actually found some pictures too from the 50s. And then we'll go over to which was the newer one. Gorgeous through here. So this building here, which is now the payroll service building, you can see all this old brick through here, was actually the very first payless. And that was right on this side here to the right and you can see it's that old-timey awesome look to the building that like velured awning but yeah this would have sat the very first payless in downtown Gresham and in the old-timey pitch you would have seen the signage right here and everything would have stuck up I actually found some pictures from the 50s this is all kind of changed. This is still the bank, which you can see better in the picture behind me. We'll maneuver back this way. And what is also really cool, you probably won't be able to see it as well as in the picture. Go ahead. Thank you. But you can also see all this
behind the building if you look really carefully all this tree work all this tree line actually let's pull it just a hair kind of hard to see with these other trees in the way but in that old timey shot you would have seen the very first payless and back then you know more of a uh, like a pharmacy slash you know soda shop kind of thing not to be confused with the Rexall what just sits a block over yeah you can see all this old all the old buildings rather like I said but you can also see all this cool tree lining in the very back here so I'll insert those pictures and then we're gonna go to the location that I know of more next but I thought I'd show you guys this too just because it's so cool and the building's still here wait wait all right heading over to the hood center which now you can see on the sign says Rite Aid once the pay less we just gotta wait to cross wait wait thing keeps asking me my weight all right so as I said across the street we got Rite Aid now but yeah, definitely some fond memories of coming here when this was pay less. I kind of already know how this is probably going to go down. Is I'm going to go in here and kind of show you what the schematics of pay less. And why they succeeded in their pharmacies and photos and everything that they did back in the 90s. Before, you know, the computers were around and scanner printers and everything like that. This was the place to be guys bumping his music so yeah we're gonna move it in and they probably won't let me film but we'll see but the reason why Payless succeeded is because they always had their pharmacy right up front so as soon as you walked in you could get what you need go and check out all their see if they got any Easter stuff it is Sunday so probably not that much I have a whole couple shelves left but yeah next weekend or you know this coming up Sunday Yeah, this was actually the aisle that we would stand on for Halloween. They had like this aisle and this aisle kind of dedicated to all the Halloween stuff. And we would spend many, many, many hours Safeway being next, next door. Mom would shop. And we would just kind of hang out and look at all the Halloween stuff. All right, coffee acquired. <laughs> I needed some caffeine. That's where we just were across the street there. But that guy saw me kind of pull up to video and then he like turned his bump, uh, whatchamacallit, subwoofer. <laughs> and was trying to drown me out. But we still kind of got what we needed. And then the people at Rite Aid, they didn't care that I was filming. They were chill with it. So that went totally different than how I thought it was going to go. But nonetheless, we're here at Mickey D's getting some coffee. Yeah, that was weird. Didn't really play out like I thought it would. But we got got it in. Got what I wanted to show you guys. There's now a dog barking in the back of that truck. That's gonna do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. You can ring that bell. That way, when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.